Hey, it's Jeff at Seed Code. I built this neat little uh, animated sidebar navigation tool in FileMaker 14 using the new button bar object, which I have in the vertical orientation on these layouts and in the horizontal orientation on this layout across the top and on this layout across the bottom. So it's animated because it's in a slide panel, which we've had since FileMaker 13. Now the button labels are the actual names of the layouts in this file, as you can see. Uh, and that's generated dynamically. The folder names and the separator object are ignored. As I click on the different buttons, we navigate to that corresponding layout, as you can see. Uh, now I can also option click on the arrow here, and instead of closing the sidebar, we get a compacted version that shows me only the icons. Now this is dynamic, which means if I come to Manage Layouts and I want to create a new layout, I'll go ahead and just duplicate the mango layout and call it Banana. So now I have a new layout, and the next time I open my sidebar, I'll get a new button for the Banana layout that I can click on to go straight there. So let's have a look at this in layout mode and see what's going on behind the scenes. This is my slide control. Uh, my first panel has all the buttons with the labels. Second panel has the compacted version, and the third panel is for when the sidebar is hidden. The slide control itself is transparent, so the effect will be that it'll completely disappear, and you'll see whatever is behind the slide control. Um, here's the button bar setup, and we can see that the button labels are coming from global variables, which are populated dynamically in a script. The active segment is defined uh, dynamically as well, uh, by the contents of uh, another global variable. And so that's really all there is to it. It's a simple um, trick, FileMaker trick. It uses native functionality, but it's got a really nice effect um, when you combine the button bar object and a slide control. Um, so feel free to download the demo file and have a look at how everything is working and implement this in your own FileMaker solution. Thanks for watching.